The RACI planning framework is a model with four steps that can be used to make marketing campaigns. The main goal of this tool is to bring attention to the important stages of a company's relationship with its customers. 1. Reach. The business needs to talk to the customer on this level. The company needs to find the right customers and reach out to them in the right way. 2. Do something. The corporation needs to do something now. Try out different ideas, methods, etc. to see what works best. 3. Change. The business must be making money at this point. Once the company knows what works best, it's time to make money. 4. Engage. During this stage, the company must build customer loyalty. Building long-term relationships with its clients and keeping an eye on them. Its name is an acronym for the four steps that should be taken. Reach. Act. Convert. Engage. First, let's look at Netflix to see how a race marketing strategy works. Let's look at how they promote their platform. Reach. Netflix has a very attractive offer for new customers. For one month, it's free. Hacked. Then, Netflix finds out what each customer likes most and gives them a list of suggestions, pointing out the best movies, TV shows, or documentaries for them. Convert. By the end of that month, the user will sign up for a full Netflix account if Netflix has found the right key. Engage. By making its own original shows, Netflix keeps its audience interested. People get hooked on Netflix's shows, not on the service itself. Game of Thrones on HBO is worth remembering. No matter who you are, Netflix has a show for you. Vikings, Black Mirror, and Stranger Things are just a few examples. Each Netflix user's profile has a list of shows that might interest them. Both Spotify and Netflix use the same method to come up with their marketing campaigns. Race planning is based on a framework. What do they need to do? Reach. Spotify is always free to use, but there are annoying ads, rules, and other problems. By doing this, they can get to millions of users. Hacked. But they give you two months of Spotify premium for free, although we now believe it is three months. This gets rid of all restrictions, has no ads, and gives you more options. With their online ads, they definitely know who they want to reach. Google Home is another platform where Spotify Premium is advertised. Convert Spotify doesn't just make money from its premium memberships. All of these ads are paid for. They have a variety of ways to make money. Engage How do they talk to the people who use it? With the recommendations, one of its most trusted sources. They use a formula to figure out what music you might like, and it works very well. An example of the Kinder Racy framework. If you don't like Kinder products, you must be a terrible person. Kinder Surprise is one of the most well-known toys for kids. We love Kinder, but they don't pay us to say that. Why did they do so well? Let's look at the Racy model to see how they became such a well-known brand. Reach. At first, they only went after small children. Candor treats have always come in small amounts that can be eaten as a snack. But if you look at their ads for Kinder Bueno, for example, they tend to market to older people. Because of this, among other things, Kinder Chocolate Maxi was made. Act. Kinder is always coming out with new flavors of ice cream, chocolate, etc., which they call innovation. They definitely look into each other's success rates and the parts of the market where it happens. Convert. Because they have so many items and special packs, they can make money from each one in different ways. You can buy a kinder surprise in a store or as part of a special pack that comes with other treats. Engage. With their small gifts, they haven't just caught the attention of young children. They sell a lot of Christmas packs and advent calendars, which helps their customers feel like they have a special link with them. Babby Bell has a good example of the racy framework. Kinder is like Babby Bell when it comes to chocolate. It's small and mostly made for kids, but almost everyone loves it. How can a product be so popular when everyone can cut a piece of cheese in its place? Let's look at it through the lens of RAC. Reach. 
Many people heard Babby Ball in grocery stores. At least where I live, there was often a Babby Ball stand in the grocery store. You might get a free sample of one of their products there. Act. Babby Bell has tried out different cheeses and new ways to package them. They make them and sell them to the right market based on how well they do. Convert. They mostly work with people who buy from them often and can be counted on. People who buy something occasionally because they want it or have tried it at a stand. Their goal is to turn these occasional customers into loyal ones. They did this by making different kinds of cheese. Even though they sell a lot of different things, most of their sales come from their small traditional cheeses. As we've already seen, Kinder has a product mix that is a lot more varied. Engage. To keep their customers, mostly children, happy, they use stories in their advertisements. Use characters from kids' movies on the package. Send gifts, toys, generally. Also, even though the red cheese wax is not a toy, we have all played with it. Summarizing. The RACI framework is a model with four steps that can be used to make marketing campaigns. Its name is an acronym for the four steps that should be taken. At this stage, the company must reach out to the customer. Act. At this point, the corporation needs to do something. Change. The business must make money right now. Engage. During this stage, the firm needs to get customers to stick with it. Tips on how to make a successful racy marketing strategy. Before you go after the right customers, take the time to pick the right target. To keep track of the results, you need to choose a measure for each action you take. As many ways as possible should be used to make money. Set up a way for your customers to get in touch with you.